What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension for SketchUp that allows you to quickly create contours from surfaces. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so creating contours manually in SketchUp could take a lot of time, right? Now you could come in here and you could create a bunch of different surfaces like this. So you could set this at whatever level, then make a copy of it, um, move it down, whatever, five feet, whatever you want that to be. And then you could come in here and you could start intersecting your faces with your model in order to generate some contours like this, All right? So then if you erased out these edges, you'd have some contours in here that you could use. You could start creating contours like that. But the problem with that is that would be especially time consuming and not necessarily what we want. So what we wanna do instead is we wanna use an extension in order to do this. So in this case, we're checking out a free extension from TIG specifically designed to create these horizontal slices. It's called Contour Maker. You can download it from the Sketchication plugin store. I will link to that in the notes down below. And it's really simple to use. Basically the way that it works is you just take a surface. Um, so whatever that surface might be, you go into extensions, and you click on contours. What it's gonna do is it's gonna give you the ability to set the spacing of your contours. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave this at five feet and we're gonna click on okay. And so if you look at this, what this does is this goes through and it generates a contour every five feet in elevation on this surface. Now you might be wondering where the starting point of that is. And so um, the starting point is just placed wherever your axes are. So notice if I was to look at this, right, it's created this first contour here and then it's created the up and down contours five feet from that location. So let's say that you wanted your contours to start on the bottom. So you could find the lowest point in here and align that with your surface and then you could run contour maker again. So if I come in here and I do contours now and let's say, and we're gonna say, okay, notice how it's going to start by placing this first contour at whatever your zero level is. So basically the level of where the axes intersect like this. So you can use that to kind of customize where those contours go on your surface. Now, the cool thing about this is it generates these contours as a group so you can move them off to the side. It doesn't break your original mesh, which is really helpful. Now, note that you can come in here with these contours and you can put them closer together just by typing in a different value. So for this hill, let's say that we wanted this to be every one foot instead of every five foot. Well, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to every foot add a new contour like this. So notice how we've created those contours in here and we could take that line work and do whatever we want with it. Now, one thing to note about this is notice how on the flat surface, it kind of triangulates a lot of this stuff, right? So it kind of creates a triangle, a set of triangles in here that are really messy. And so we don't, I mean, one thing we could do is just come in here and delete it all out, right? You don't really need it. So you could just delete it out on that surface. Like alternatively, if you had a reason you didn't want to delete it out, you could also use the lasso select tool in order to select all of these edges like this. And so then you could come in here and you could just hide them using the hide function. So then that geometry would still be in here if you wanted it, but um, you wouldn't have to see it all the time. And if you wanted to see that to bring it back, you could just do a view hidden geometry. You could just find that geometry and then unhide it like this. All right, so quick video today, but this is a very helpful tool um, in a very specific circumstance. I'm gonna link to my video on the ultimate guide using sandbox tools to create terrains inside of SketchUp if you want more information on this topic. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.